Greetings everyone, Nimedio here and I'm back with another video. So today, I brought you an app video because I thought I've not done one in a while. The last one was about 9 months back I guess. So, in this video, I'm featuring 8 applications and links to all the applications I'm mentioning will be in the description down below so you don't have to ask for that in the comments. Now we are ready to go, so let's start. All right, the number one application in our random list is Around Sound. So Around Sound is basically an audio recording application, but what's special about it? Well, it stores all of the audios, not only in our local storage, but also in the cloud. So whenever you switch to a new phone with your email address and everything put into it, you will not have to transfer every audio file and stuff to your new phone because whatever you are recorded using this application will be in the cloud and whenever you switch and install this application everything will be downloaded back to your phone automatically so that's something cool also the UI of the application is very similar to the pixel UI so it's a very minimal and clean and easy to use application that's what makes the application so good next one is shake light so one of the coolest feature I like about the Motorola phones is actually some cool gesture features that Motorola put into this phone such as the shake to activate the flashlight and that's only available in the Motorola phones me being a previous Motorola phone user I missed it in my new phone and I installed this application called shake light this application allows you to shake your phone and activate the flashlight which is a very easy process and that's something missing in other phones next one is tick tick so tick tick is basically an app to mark all your tasks and these tasks can be set as reminders to remind you at certain times just as daily weekly monthly or yearly you know in case if you forget your birthday that never happens but anyways that's the specialty of this app and uh, I, i've been using it for almost two months now and it's actually making me more organized than ever next up is wave up wave up is an application that allows you to wake your phone up without even touching it you just have to wave your hands over the proximity sensor and the app will sense that and wake your phone up so the next application is colorize so colorize is an application that allows you to change every black and white photo to color and i guess that's a cool application because a lot of people have not seen their grandparents or parents in color so that's a very cool application and i took some photos with it and man i'm surprised next application is shortcut maker so shortcut maker is as the name suggests it helps you make shortcuts but what's special is that it allows you to create icon like widgets yes just like the ios shortcuts application but here's the difference on ios if you click the shortcut it at first opens the shortcut app and then redirects you to the application but in shortcut maker that doesn't happen you directly go to the application or you can set any file as the shortcut and put it in the dock or in the home screen but not in the app drawer that's a sad thing so you can only customize the home screen but that's enough man that's very cool application i've been using it for the past one month i guess so yeah Next application is Pocket Cast. Well, basically it's a podcast player and I used to listen podcast before on Spotify, but then I found this app and man oh man, it's great. Well, basically what it does is it has got more features than other podcast players. You can remove silent parts in a conversation, then you can fast forward or you can even speed up the conversation so that you won't be bored and a lot of easy accessibility features built into the app. Now last but not least is the Gallery Go. Gallery Go is the lighter version of the Google Photos application but the difference is it's more easy to use and accessible than the Google Photos. It's got a minimal and clean UI so that makes people with less knowledge of tech go through their photos and that's just more easy. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Until next video. Bye -bye.